What is the meaning of life? That is, why are we here? Why are we alive? What are you doing here? What's your purpose in being here? How did you come to be here? And what's going to happen after you leave this earth? That's the kind of question we're discussing at this time on this station each day. And you remember, last week we spent a little time looking at the world itself to see if there were any clues in this world of ours that would help us understand what the meaning of life was. And it is an amazing world when we look at it. If you just take your hand at this moment and put it somewhere in the center of your chest, you'll, I hope, feel a, a beat. And that beat is the beat of your heart. And that heart is an amazing pump inside you. It's something that keeps beating a hundred thousand times every 24 hours. And it does it without you making any attempt to create a heartbeat. It does it involuntarily. It just keeps on going. A hundred thousand times every 24 hours it beats. And it keeps doing that 70 or 80 years of your life. And no one can quite explain why it beats. We talk about electrical charges, but we really don't know where the electrical charges come from. It's a mystery. And so you have in the center of your chest a mystery, a pump that keeps on beating more reliably than anything you have in your car or your automobile, anything than you have in your house. It just keeps on regularly performing its job. In fact, Jarvik and the others who have invented artificial hearts are bewildered. They use all kinds of batteries, all kinds of energy systems to try to power their hearts, but they've had all kinds of difficulties with them. And yet your heart keeps on beating. Not only that, but it, as it's beating, acts as a pump, a circulating pump. And it circulates round your body blood. Blood that actually finds its way to the farthest extremities of your body via a whole arterial system. Arteries that branch off into smaller arteries, into smaller capillaries, into smaller channels until you cannot prick a spot on your finger with a pin without getting some blood out. That's the kind of detailed, minuscule dimensions that your arterial system eventually leads into and delivers blood through. Not only that, but this blood weighs about 20 pounds weight. That's about the weight of the blood in your body. And your heart pumps that blood round your body every two minutes. That's how fast it blasts that blood through. Now, it does that not only by the power of the heart itself, but it does it by means of the arterial system. The arteries have an elasticity to them near the heart because the heart, you know, pumps a great gulp of blood into the artery. And so the artery has to have an elasticity that opens up and lets that surge of blood come down it. Much like the system of flood control that we have on some of our great rivers. The incredible thing is that that elasticity diminishes the further you get from the heart with the arteries. And in fact, the muscularity of the arteries increases because, of course, the heartbeat ceases to have as great an effect on the blood to push it through the arteries the further it gets from the heart. And so you need a muscular action in the arteries themselves that helps push the blood on through. And that's what happens. There is actually increased muscularity in the arteries that helps push the blood to the very fringes of your body. 
Not only that, but there is a whole system of veins that returns that blood back to the heart so that there's a whole reverse system operating that brings the blood back. And the blood actually picks up all kinds of waste from your body. And so it's constantly cleansing your body. And it actually is constantly probably cleansing away an opposing infection in your body and thus keeping you alive. And it brings this waste material back to your pump called your heart. The further miracle, if you like to call it that, because certainly it's something that goes on all day long, all your life long, without you attending to it in any way, so it is a real mystery. The real mystery is that the heart not only pumps your blood through it and sends it back through the arteries again to the farthest extremities of your body from which it picks up more waste and brings back to the heart, but the heart actually purifies the blood. And it does that by bringing the blood into itself, sending it into your lungs, breathing in through your lungs and putting it into the blood, nitrogen and oxygen that enables the waste material in your blood to be converted so that it can be expelled. And so the blood can be purified and sent round your body yet again. And that kind of amazing operation is continuing in you night and day. That is only a little of the incredible complexity of the system. Once you begin to look at the heart itself and to see that it has two entrances and two exits, so that it not only sends the blood receives the blood from the veins and sends them into the lungs, but it receives them back from the lungs and sends them out into the body again. But those valves in the heart are so arranged that they keep the blood flowing the same way, and they close to prevent it coming back on itself. And this also all works with an intricate accuracy of timing that even we with our artificial hearts, which are so clumsy and which are still uh, clogging up with all kinds of thrombi and all kinds of infection, we cannot uh, go near to imitating. And yet this complex mechanism inside you, controlled more accurately than we can even attempt to control ours with the most advanced computers that we have, this heart operates inside you as a natural part of your body and continues to work. And if that ceased to work for a moment, you know you would die. And so you continue to live at this very moment, even as you sit watching the stoplights of the car in front of you or watching the brake lights or as you sit in your office preparing to go home or as you sit at home thinking of the evening meal, this heart continues to keep you alive without any voluntary action on your part. It is simply an involuntary, complicated operation that continues inside you and cannot be fully explained by even the most advanced scientist and surgeon that we have. The incredible movement of the heart is something that is a mystery that uh, we attribute, as we say, to some kind of electrical charge. It's tantamount to the way we explain so many things. We either call it uh, by a name like the law of gravity, or we call it by a name like an electrical charge. But the truth is, it is a mystery why your heart keeps beating. And yet if it didn't pump that blood continually around your body, you would not live for one more second. Is there any clue in the amazing complexity and design that is apparent 
in your heart and in the circulation of your blood as to the meaning of the world that we live in and the meaning of life itself. Let's talk a little more about that tomorrow.